All right, let's go over the alternate position views. This has to do with an assembly where in the actually assembly model, you'd have a, uh, you know, basically saved alternate views. Um, it could be uh, things that are uh, through constraints that are locked in place, yet, you know, when you, you have uh, degrees of freedom where you can move this handle and the thing moves up and down. But it has to be from your actual uh, assembly view, um, alternate views in your assembly view. Um, so I've already imported this as the uh, shaping tool head. And this is basically the right side. I did like an ISO. One thing though I, I learned uh, from this view, basically you have to have it in a, you know, depending on which view you have it in initially. Uh, we're going to put it in. Position one. We'll put in alt position one. Now both of them are alternate position one. Um, so you want to do an alternate position view. You know, highlight this alt position view, and you either you could do a new configuration. Let's say you didn't have any configurations in your actual assembly. You can uh, do a new configuration. It'll uh, open up your um, assembly, and then you can move parts. You know, if they're uh, constrained um, and you had some degree of freedom with those constraints or use an existing configuration so we're going to use an existing configuration let me see uh, alt position 5 and let's see what that one works and there we go it, it's uh this like i said this one has five different positions so we can do the same thing with this isometric view on the side um, i want to do an alternate position view has to do with the configuration. Let's say I want to do, uh, let's see, four. What is four? I don't know. Four is just, uh, I think it's cranking this hand around circles. So four is a little bit lower. Three, I'm assuming is probably slightly what? Let's see. Alt position, four, three. Let's do two. So, this is what alternate position does. It's taking your assemblies and using the alternate positions. Like I said, just remember when you are you know, doing your parent view or whatever derived, not derived view, but whatever um, projected view you're using, make sure that you're in the initial position ref in your reference configuration that you want to be before you do your alternate position. And that's it.